Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Prince KB thinks that Casper Nyovest has a tiny one. Look, it is no secret that Casper Nyovest and Prince KB don't really like each other. They have been beefing for quite some time and now it has reached ridiculous lengths. <laughs> no pun intended. Now it seems like Casper Nyovest has been trying to get some blood from the music producer for the longest of time. Casper Nyovest has challenged Prince KB to a boxing match multiple times but Prince KB has never really responded. In fact it has been so long that we began to think that Prince KB was well above all of this boxing stuff. But as it turns out two can play the petty game and I suppose Prince KB has joined in the pettiness. Now all of this started when Casper Nyovest recently shared a video of himself jogging with two guys. Now of course this was a moment for Casper Nyovest to inspire his fans to keep fit and also further put some fear into Nak Music who he will be boxing in April. I suppose the logic is if you can run 10k's on gravel you could probably run circles in the ring around Nak Music even though a ring is square so run squares around you know what I mean. But moving right along, you know, Casper Nyovest and Prince KB have actually blocked each other on social media. But it does seem that a user on social media actually took a screenshot of that particular video and reposted it on his social media. And that is how I suppose Prince KB got to see the actual video. To which Prince KB wrote the following in the comment section. For someone that keeps on talking about Marete, this is shocking. Now it seems like Casper Nyovest got wind of this particular reply from Prince KB and he again invited him to a boxing match. So a user on Twitter posted the following, I want that guy Prince KB in one ring, Liwena. He's busy roaming around saying lame things, Kawena. You need to shut him up now. Ngarubatla di punch nyana so. Now Casper Nyovest replied to this and wrote, Prince KB is a B. He will never ever step in the ring. Kabelo kisifebe. <laughs> That's why Atamaya Abu Akadi tools Sama out. Lol. Roughly translated, Prince KB is a B. That's why he keeps on talking about other men's tools. He is a sweet little B and he doesn't have the balls to step in the ring with a real man like me. The day he grows up here, I'll be ready. Ah yes, it seems like the new Casper Nyovest, everything that he wants to sort out, he will sort out in that boxing ring. And one user even tagged Prince KB and wrote Ham Fair to just challenge him. Are you really gonna allow him to talk about you like this forever, Vel? Look, for me personally, I would definitely love to see Prince KB and Casper Nyovest get in that boxing ring. Now, apart from the boxing challenge, you know, of course, things actually spiraled into, uh, I suppose, a dick measuring contest. People in the comment sections were already saying, but he already showed everyone his pair and Bati, it's bigger than yours. I mean, I'm sure you guys remember that uh, little incident where Prince KB's alleged side chick posted his dick pic on social media. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, do get in the comment section down below and let me know who do you believe is the bigger man between Prince KB and Casper Nyovest. I mean, who is the better boxer or like who would hypothetically win in a boxing match? Just get in the comment section and comment something as... But yeah, before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also, if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, the podcast and chill with Mac G, which hunt intensifies. So Mac G's platform, the podcast and chill is definitely one of South Africa's hottest entertainment channels right now. And the bigger it grows, the more controversial it seems to get to a point that Mac G now believes that influencers are being paid to sabotage him. Now Mac G recently shared a picture of the front page of Daily Sun newspaper from the 27th of January yesterday and he was at the center of the page next to his picture was the headline 60,000k to silence Mac G. Now Mac G recently revealed on his podcast that radio stations were actively trying to destroy him and his podcast. According to him, all the outrage about him being inappropriate is nothing but a smokescreen. Now he said that the podcast had not changed since its inception a few years back, which is 
actually true. He went on to say that they have always been appropriate asking everyone who they have smashed or who they have hit, basically asking all their guests who they have slept with. Now, of course, judging by the numbers of the podcast, it does seem that, you know, those that watch definitely do enjoy this, which is why I suppose Mac G was initially surprised by the uproar. Now, first, of course, it was with rapper and television personality Joop Joop, but moving right along, you know, as Mac G's numbers are growing, so does his backlash. Now, almost every episode that he does, there's some drama that erupts from it. And Mac G has said that radio stations are to blame for this since the podcast and chill has been stealing their numbers. Now, he says that South African audiences now prefer to listen to unfiltered conversations rather than to listen to radio on their commute, which is why the radio big dogs are desperate for his platform to be shut down. Now, of course, Mac G's allegations expose, I suppose, was met, you know, differently on both sides of the fence. Advert Chillers felt they completely understood and believed Mac G, as the guests on the show are the ones who often tell on themselves. Now, of course, the Chillers have been with Mac G for a very long time, and they too remember a time when it wasn't all outrage against Mac G when he was, you know, basically doing the same thing. And then on the other side of the coin, I suppose those that are not too fond of the podcast are a little bit more skeptical. Some have even gone as far as saying that Mac G is being disingenuous and he knows that he benefits from the controversy. Ain't no such thing as bad publicity, right? The ones that are against the podcast, I suppose the anti-podcasters say that every time something dramatic or controversial is said on the podcast, it trends on social media, attracting even more views and followers. But regardless of what you know social media has to say it seems like there is no stopping mac g now every time the masses have called for his cancellation mac g has not only survived that but he has actually gone on to thrive just last week he made waves in the us so you best believe that the podcast is definitely doing insane viewership numbers but yeah do get in the comment section down below and let me know do you believe that there is a conspiracy to kind of shut down mac g's podcast and chill or are you on the other side of the fence and just believe that mac g is doing this for controversy for trends likes and retweets well this is actually youtube for uh, likes and views and subscriptions and while we're talking about subscriptions don't forget to subscribe to Ray live if you haven't i see you watching Ray live without subscribing our next topic masasa mbangeni slams pregnancy rumors once again so actress masasa mbangeni has slammed pregnancy rumors that have resurfaced after she posted her boxing workout video clip that saw a troll reignite the bun in the oven speculation so yeah, she posted the following video that was captioned, mental health a joke at present, but boxing made me feel better. Also, Tabo really is an amazing coach. I'm sure Casper in your vest is probably looking at this video, licking his lips and thinking that she could be his next opponent. But moving right along, it does seem that the actress never seems to catch a break from those people making remarks about her weight and her pregnancy speculations, I suppose. Taking to social media, she decided to address those rumors and posted the following. I post my boxing video and someone asked me if I'm pregnant. Yaz Nizofa. Now do keep in mind that the actress had to shut down the pregnancy rumor mill not so long ago when random trolls came up with the rumor that she was pregnant. It seems like this particular rumor refuses to die. Now back then she once again also set the record straight and asked people to stop being invested in her uterus. She posted, guys I'm not pregnant I'm just fat, happily so. DMs on IG and Twitter about the contents of my uterus are on an upward surge again with some laughing emojis. Look as a entertainment channel here on youtube i kind of understand why people be asking speculating and all of that stuff i feel the way she handles the rumor mill with the uppercut nyana is top notch our next topic patrick shy thanks the river for giving him a chance to do what he loves late actor patrick shy loved acting and when he joined the river he made his presence felt now in one of the latest videos recorded of him in his element patrick shy thanked the team for giving him a chance to do what he loved actor Shlomla dandala took to social media to share the clip now in the video clip the veteran actor thanked the production team for allowing him to creatively express himself 
he compared the Telenova to others and said that the river was a place he would mention in heaven and give him wings to fly. Now the caption to the video is he loved what he did, recorded approximately one week before his passing. Hashtag RIP Patrick Shy. But I became creative, allowing for expression. There is always to be one to prove a point with it. But here yeah, it is not. It's a wonderful space. If I were to die uh, after this production, it would be cited in my on my arrival to Inyanazam in Okunukul that I've had the last brilliant <coughs> moment working with wonderful people in this wonderful company. Now Patrick Shai passed away on January the 22nd of this year and according to the reports he took his own life. Now apart from that video fellow actress Tina Mnumzana also took to social media and shared an emotional tribute through a poem to Patrick Shai who has been described as passionate about his craft. I, I couldn't write anything, I couldn't do anything when I heard of your passing pet. So I asked my brother, who was your AD here at, at the river, we had Tokunene, to help me express what I feel and what I think all of us, not talking for anyone, feel. And the poem goes like this. We blew your ashes too soon we shook the fruity tree roughly like a diamond cut in edges. Your story will be that of a best books image that never happened in the rain. My heart sank when I heard of your landing. I don't know how to put pieces together to complete the image of your puzzle. I'm still in disbelief. Perhaps I'm in denial. A story of a man who told stories and ended up as a teary story in a territory. A foul patch with grief, a dominant dire diabolical doom. I suppose the moon knew. That is why she delayed and dimmed her light blue. Yours, yours hit deep, shy. It hits very deep. I don't want to lie. So tell me. Tell me, Patrick. Shall we pan your stone of granite as a man who beat in your vest and place it on the hill in the west? Shall we? You son of a gun, come back. I dare you come back and wipe our tears. So the peace may find me instead of the RIPs I see trending with the river. I've been, I've been crying. Holy God. So vele, Urovets Patrick, Okaslolutsu. Here lies a man who beat in your vest as he cried himself to the bank and earned some hundred k's, beat by Shai, the best match that ended before it started. The story of the thespian, stolen too soon a life well lived, well loved and well hated, well impressed and deeply depressed, well shamed and ashamed, well apologized and well counseled by the council culture that we shut us a dream of a man who failed and found his way to succeed returning as an activist a much needed voice against gbv at the critical period of his life a life well turned around a story of a man who's seen well judged too soon. A well that dried up too soon. Away with cancel culture or else we are doomed as a nation. A knife stuck in our hearts. 
go ahead, Patrick. So yeah, there you have heard an emotional Tina recite what were her last accounts of Patrick Shy's life and what led to the end of the road for the actor. And that is the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor, share it with your family, your friends and your enemies, confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Real Live if you haven't and binge watch my previous videos.